So we're in the technology demonstrator. This is a showroom full of university inventions. It's a part of the university's business engagement and innovation services facilities. Most projects that you see here have at one stage been a really early stage research project and most likely had a PhD student involved in them. So these, some of these projects are more than five years old and have had many PhD students working on them. And by the time they get here, they've had an awful lot of work done. But when, whilst they're, once they're here, they're ready to be commercialised. They're ready for us to show to companies and ready for us to start trying to push into wider society for people to use and benefit from them. We routinely have companies come here, we have either through events or meetings, and we usually like to show off a big range of technologies to companies because we're never quite sure what they might be interested in. But very occasionally you do get occasions where a company comes to see one thing, and actually they see something else that they really liked. And from that we might have a relationship around them, around more research into that particular project, or they might take a license and actually put that product into their portfolio and sell it in the future on our behalf. One example would be uh, some of our industrial microwave processing technology, which we've got a little demonstration system of in here, which is now just been installed for the first time in North Nottinghamshire. So there's a company now using that technology. And about five to six years ago, there was a PhD student working on it, and now it's a proper commercial proposition that people can buy. One of our uh, showcased uh, technologies in here is, uh, is actually a, one of our spin-out companies called Monica Healthcare. And they're quite a well-established company now in, in Nottingham. They actually employ several previous graduates from the university. So this is based on research that was done more than 10 years ago to try and pick out the heart rate of unborn babies, so when they're still in mum's tongue, basically. So this is a way of checking the health of the baby before it's born, but doing it in such a way that the mother doesn't have to go into the hospital all the time. There's an awful lot of very scientific research that has gone into that, and a lot of effort into to, to commercialise that technology. But now, that company called Monica Healthcare Limited can sell that technology globally. The, all the support exists within the university to help PhD students and their supervisors to commercialise technology. There's a, a technology transfer office, which I'm a part of, that exists purely to help people to spot new ideas and inventions and take those all the way to being new products and services. So there's an awful lot of support within the university. Engineering in particular is a really active place for new inventions. The university gets about 150 new inventions a year, and a considerable amount of those are coming out of our engineering and physical sciences research base. The university licenses about 10 to 15 new inventions per year, and sets up around two or three new companies based on those inventions per year as well. So this university is extremely active in, in commercialising its research.